In my early 20s, I turned to shopping as a way of escapism. The surprising part was that I actually liked my job and my life for the most part, but I lacked a sense of purpose and direction in my life. Every day felt like a repeat of the day before, and the only way I knew how to bring a spark of excitement into my life was to spend my paycheck on buying things for myself. Clothes, shoes, weekend getaways, you get the picture. The problem with escapism is that it's only a temporary fix. Eventually, we have to face the root of the cause of why we feel the need to escape in the first place. I knew that I couldn't use shopping as my crutch forever. So I turned all of my focus to building a life that I actually loved, a life that felt purposeful, a life that I didn't need to escape from. At times, it's necessary to evaluate our lives to see if we should switch careers or move to a new place. But I think it's more important to find the right building blocks to restructure the life that we're currently living, establish some good habits while letting go of old ones, shift our mindset, and start taking action. I recently took myself on a date to explore a town nearby. I didn't do any research beforehand like I normally do. I just wanted to see where the day would take me. I stopped by a really cool cafe to people watch, walked through all the narrow streets to window shop, and somehow ended up at an art studio where the artist was kind enough to show me around. It was so freeing to be spontaneous for once, and it reminded me how a little bit of curiosity and an open mind can lead to a refreshing change. You guys know, I love prepping, planning, and having a solid routine. But I also think that life shouldn't be one big checklist that we need to perform. There needs to be a balance, and it might be just as important to leave room in our lives for surprises, spontaneity, and unexpected left turns. So I encourage you to go through life with a little more curiosity. You never know what life has planning for you. I think there's a big difference between feeling happy and being fulfilled in life. Happiness comes in both small and big moments and it happens all the time. However, I think we use the term chasing happiness because it's fleeting and it can only be felt for a short moment. But being fulfilled goes much deeper than this. It stems from having a purpose and knowing that we are on the right path to carry out that purpose. It's the feeling of being connected to others, our work, our lives. There are many ways to be fulfilled in life, and I think it really depends on who we are and what we value. But for me, I feel the most fulfilled in life when I'm able to contribute to something bigger than myself. My latest project has been researching how I can record audiobooks for people who are visually impaired. I have the equipment, I love reading, so I was excited to find out that there is a need for this service. What are some of your skills, talents, unique traits, and how can you contribute to your community? You might find meaning in your life by looking away from yourself and onto others. We should all have goals, no matter what stage of life we're in. Goals not only give us something to dream about, but they also provide us with a North Star. Some of you guys know I've been going to school to learn Portuguese. Although everyone speaks English where I live, I didn't move to a different country to only speak English. I want to fully integrate into the community, and more specifically, I want to get to a level where I can talk to my neighbors beyond hi and bye. I still have a long way to go, but I feel myself getting better and better every single day, and seeing progress gives me hope. Whether it's paying down debt, buying a house, running a marathon, 
or even learning to play chess. Set interesting goals for yourself and never stop learning to keep things interesting. No matter how small or big, challenging or easy, the reward is always the same and it's always amazing. I was walking my dogs the other day and out of nowhere, I had a huge reality check. I realized I was walking my dogs on the beach in Portugal where I live now. Even sounds crazy to say it out loud because I dreamt of this moment for so long. And now, this is my reality. This is what gratitude does to us. It gives us a big reality check. Right now, you might be wanting so many things or looking forward to the future that maybe that's blinding you from realizing that you are currently living the life that you dreamt of a couple of years ago. Point is, without taking the time to slow down, stop, and look around us, we will never fully appreciate what we have. Whether it's keeping a gratitude journal, slowing down and reflecting alone, or even going through our house to physically see everything we own, I think it's so important to regularly remind ourselves of our blessings and practice gratitude. We might be already living our dreams. As we get older, I feel like we eliminate hobbies to make time for other responsibilities. And sure, maybe hobbies are not a priority on the productivity scale, but to me, they make my life more fun, dynamic, and rich. It's also what helped me to fill my free time with meaningful activities instead of just mindlessly browsing online. Through reading, I've learned so many new things. Through videography, I found a way to express myself creatively. Through hiking, biking, being active, I found ways to de-stress and refresh my state of mind. No one forces me to do any of these things, but I find myself going back to them because I genuinely enjoy myself and I see the positive effect that it has on me and my mental health. A big chunk of our time is dedicated to work and to our many responsibilities so taking the time to ourselves to enjoy your hobbies feels like self-care. Instead of spending your free time distracting yourself in other ways, I hope you explore different hobbies that might in some way contribute to improving your life. At the very least, it will bring you joy and that's more than enough. I think we can all agree that life is too precious to ignore or to escape from. And I hope that this gave you some good ideas to start creating the life that you love. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, take care, guys. Bye.